Now we're ready to go ahead and use the bottom line on our spot here. What I've done is I've mixed up three cups of bottom line to one gallon of water, mix it up into a solution, and the idea is that I've got to saturate the entire area where the urine's at. The reason for that is because the urine has seeped down to the subfloor, to the cushion, and of course on the carpet itself. So I'm going to mix it up, and I'm going to use a measuring cup at this point here, just to kind of saturate from the outside in. What I'm trying to do is take care of the entire area of where this urine has saturated. Now, as you can see, I have quite a bit here. You want to control the amount that you're using depending on the environment you're in. In other words, if I just have a cement subfloor under here, it's not going to be a big deal. But if I'm working on the second floor, on a wood floor subfloor, I don't want to see that stuff going down from the second floor into the first floor. Now, after I've given the bottom line approximately 15 minutes of dwell time to let it do its work, now I'm ready to extract it, and for this, I'm going to use the spotting cloth. So what you'll see here now is that I've taken everything off of the surface, but even more importantly, I've taken it off of the sub cushion right here. And this cushion now is still damp to the touch, but it's just slightly damp where before it was completely saturated. The power of a water claw, you can use it with any type of a wet vacuum. Right now what I've been using is just a three gallon mini extractor. And you could use your truck mount, you could use a portable. Any of these systems will work, you could even use a wet vac. Right? The idea is just put extraction on here, and because of the design of the tool itself, it works very efficiently for pulling everything up from the subfloor through the pad and out of the carpet itself.